What's up guys? I'm recording this video today. Apparently that's all I can do. I can't do live stuff. Really does so anyway. I wanna bring something to your attention. It's been several weeks or months ago. There's a woman by the name of Jessica Doty Whitaker. Now, before I tell you this story, it involves Black Lives Matter movement, the people going around. Apparently, so they say this woman was walking with her fiance, the soon to be husband, and she had encountered, they had encountered with some family members a movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. They they got into a verbal altercation. Somebody thought they said the N-word, but anyway, they hollered Black Lives Matter. It was her, somebody in her family believed to have said Black Lives Matter. Again, they replied Black Lives this went on several hours. Somebody pulled a gun and her, the woman's fiance pulled a gun too. They thought they squashed it. Over. Done. Walked away. They was going up under a bridge and they said somebody stood there waiting on them. They shot this poor woman in the head. They murdered her. Over her just saying all lives matter. Now she voiced her opinion. This was, this is something Americans have that's a free thing. We basically have the freedom of speech. We have the freedom to voice our opinion like my video here. I have the right to tell you exactly the way I feel. And for some of you that find this racist about me getting upset over a woman you damn right I'm upset because she leaves behind a three-year-old son now this this kid needs his mama this day and time mama's everything to kids I know what that's like I lost mine two years ago it's not a fun club to be in when you want to tell your mama something, she's not there. When you want to call mama on the phone, mama's not there. When you want to just spend money on mama, again, mama's not there. And you wonder why this country's the way it is. Out of everything with COVID-19, after everything about us staying at home, this happens. We just lost Grant Imahara, a Mythbuster. I love the Mythbusters. It's not right. Something's got to change. I hope this video reaches everybody. I hope this video reaches YouTube and Facebook. We need to stop with the Black Lives stuff. We need to just concentrate on all lives, or we the people. That involves blacks, white, Hindu, Chinese, African Americans, Mexicans, Koreans, Indians, Cowboys, Fred and Barney, Franklin, Trevor, Michael, Mario Brothers, Godzilla, Scooby-Doo, Courage, my dog Courage, all your pets, it includes everybody. There used to be a wrestler on TV. His name was Jack Swagger. Remember? Do you remember what he said when he come out to the ring? Would you like for me to say it? Would you like for me to say it? Okay, we're gonna do this together as an exercise. For some of you that still believe in this sort of stuff, take your hand, put it over your heart, and repeat after me. We, the people, 
Do you say it? Good. Now you believe all life matters, regardless whether it's black lives, Hindu, white lives, whatever, pets' lives, like this 25 year old pain in the butt. All life matters. My mom believed it. I believe it. I find it funny. I've said this once and we'll say it again. I find this very funny that we treat something like a flag or other people so hateful that when Christmas rolls around, you can't wait to break the door down of a store so you can buy everything out. TP, fishing rods, whatever it is they want for Christmas, you break people's neck just to get in there. It's called Black Friday. But yet, we treat people so shamefully 24-7. Do you see what's going on? Do you, do you see where we're messing up in this country? Do you see the violence? You complain about wrestling being violent, right? I think Jessica's murder was considered violent. I think the people that done this should go to prison for a very long time. This woman's son needs closure. I say that because I'm a mama's boy. I know what this kid's going to go through. I know the tears. He's crying right now for mama. I do. I've shed the same tears over mine. And if you don't think I've got a heart, click off his video. It will hurt me. I've got tough skin. I can take it. My dog just scratched me, so... I can take it. I've got tough skin. I got ichthyosis, it means fish scales. So, anybody that looks like a fish or a snake or whatever, you know they got tough skin, right? I don't care. Put it in the comments. Tell me I look like a troll that's got rough skin. I don't care what you say. Because one day, I'm going to be standing with my mama. She going to ask me what I did good? I'm going to tell her I tried to help a woman that was murdered. Wished I had some money. I'd get a GoFundMe started for her son. Some of you want to do that, that'd be a good idea. You're welcome, by the way. This kid needs help. This kid needs somebody to know that they know what he's going through. They know the tears. He's crying. Because I tell you, Mama meant everything to me. And I know this woman's son was the same way. If I had the little kid, if I had the little guy sitting in my apartment now, of course, with courage as hell, he's always got to be next to the camera. Well, he's in it today. I'd like to tell this kid, hang in there, kid. It'll get better. Sure, you're going to miss Mama. Never forget Mama. Never forget that Mama loved you. Never forget that Mama, what little time you had her, she tried to sort of teach you some good lessons. Now, unfortunately, I had my Mama for a very long time. My Mama taught me how to cook. She taught me how to clean. Really didn't go through the washing the clothes deal because she always would beat me to it. What do you guys think? What would you say to the kid if you were his dad? Hmm? How would you handle it? How would you... What could you do to sit there and tell that kid, hey, your mama's in heaven, the only way to talk to her is pray at night. I do. I find it funny, I've never told this, but something weird. I don't know if it's her or not. I've told this story several times. Seems like Every month, 
I'm always able to pay my bills, get everything I need because there's extra money involved. And I know the government's not paying me extra money. I truly believe my mama's helping me. And it aggravates me because I cannot pay her back sometimes the extra money she gives. 20 here, 40 here, 30 here. Like when my dad first got his apartment, I'll say this in a closing deal. All I had was $40. That's it. Magically, magically, as soon as I walked through his apartment, $40 wound up being $150. I counted right from my sister and dad. I was upset about it. So you tell me how it happened. I'd like to hear the comments. You're probably going to say, no, you had some, no, I didn't have extra money. I just paid my bills. I actually showed them all the receipts I had. In all fairness, $40 is all I should have had. I didn't. So you tell me what happened. That's it, guys. Out of respect for Jessica Doty Whitaker, I'm not going to say it. This video was for her. To Jessica, I'd like to say, I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm sorry them criminals cut you down at the age of 24. Didn't get the chance to live your life. Be married. Be happy. Be silly with your son. I'm sorry that they treated you so shameful. I'm sorry that your fiance couldn't get there in time. I know it wasn't his fault. He tried. I'm sorry that you leave your three-year-old son. I know what it's like to lose a mama. Little guys probably crying tears now over you. You were everything to him. In some little kids' lives, mama is it. Period. It's not Transformers. It's not Spider-Man. It's not Superman. It's mama. Mama's there to kiss boo-boo. Mama's there to console you when your pet passes away mysteriously. Mama's there when you get your first girlfriend. You go to your first prom high school. You graduate. You graduate college. Mama's there. I know what it's like. That's it, guys. I know this wasn't a video y'all wanted to see. This has bothered me all day. What do you think? Maybe some of the comments below will sort of help me understand why this happened. Why they had to be so shameful and do this to this poor kid. That's it, guys. Till next time. Bye.